Ever wondered why Italy, a small peninsula in southern Europe, has such a magnetic charm that pulls millions of visitors each year? This nation, steeped in history, culture and tradition, is an enigma that leaves us yearning for more. Italy is a treasure trove, a tapestry woven with tales that date back to the dawn of civilization. From the grandeur of the Roman Empire to the Renaissance's artistic bloom, Italy has been a cradle of human achievement. Italy's allure isn't just about its past, it's also about the vibrancy of its present. A diverse culture that celebrates life with passion, a rich tapestry of traditions that vary from one region to another, and a cuisine that has conquered palates worldwide. But there's more to Italy than meets the eye. Hidden beneath its well-trodden paths are stories and facts that often escape the casual observer. Buckle up as we unravel the lesser-known facts that make Italy a wonderland. Did you know that Italy is the birthplace of the university and the bank? Yes, you heard it right. This country, known for its architectural marvels and mouth-watering cuisine, also holds the distinction of being home to the world's oldest university and bank. Let's first take a journey back in time to the year 1088. The University of Bologna was established, marking the beginning of higher education as we know it today. This renowned institution was the first of its kind to use the term university, derived from the Latin universitas, meaning a community of teachers and scholars. This pioneer in education is still standing tall and proud, bustling with intellectual energy. It continues to shape minds and contribute to global knowledge, a testament to the enduring importance of education in society. The University of Bologna is not just an educational institution, it's a living, breathing piece of history that reminds us of the long journey we have traversed in the pursuit of knowledge. Now let's fast forward to the year 1472. Italy adds another feather to its cap by establishing the world's oldest surviving bank, Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena. This bank, nestled in the picturesque city of Siena, started as a mount of piety, offering loans to the less fortunate. With time it evolved into a full-fledged bank, setting the foundation for modern banking systems. What's fascinating is that this bank, despite the tides of change and challenges over the centuries, continues to serve its customers. It stands as a silent witness to the world's economic transformations, symbolizing the resilience and adaptability of the banking sector. So, there you have it. Italy, a country that's not just about the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, or the exquisite Italian cuisine. It's a land where history was made, where the seeds of education and finance were sown, shaping the world as we know it. Imagine studying and banking, two activities we often take for granted, originated in Italy. Think of Italy, and images of beautiful landscapes and architecture come to mind, but did you know it's also the land of volcanoes? This sun-soaked Mediterranean gem has the highest concentration of active volcanoes in all of Europe. A fiery testament to the geological forces that shape the continent, Italy's volcanoes are both awe-inspiring and a little intimidating, Let's talk about Mount Vesuvius for instance. This mighty peak is the only active volcano on mainland Europe. It's famous or rather infamous for its eruption in 79 AD, which buried the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum under a thick layer of ash and pumice. Today, Vesuvius lies dormant, a silent sentinel overlooking the bustling city of Naples. But beneath its tranquil facade, the volcano is merely sleeping, not extinct. Then there's the Aeolian Islands, a volcanic archipelago off the coast of Sicily. Each of the seven islands has its own unique character, shaped by the volcanic activity beneath. Stromboli, one of the islands, is home to one of the most active volcanoes in the world. It's been erupting continuously for more than 2,000 years. The island's inhabitants have adapted to life on this fiery rock embracing its unpredictability with a certain Italian flair. And let's not forget Mount Etna, Europe's tallest active volcano. Situated on the east coast of Sicily, Etna is a constant reminder of the powerful forces at work beneath the Earth's crust. It's a fascinating place where you can ski down snow-covered slopes in the winter, and then watch lava flow down the same mountain in the summer. 
These volcanoes, and others scattered across the country, are an integral part of Italy's landscape and culture. They have shaped the land, influenced the agriculture, and inspired countless myths and legends. From the fertile soils that produce world-class wines to the hot springs that offer natural spas, the impact of these fiery giants is seen and felt in every corner of Italy. Yes, Italy's fiery heart certainly adds to its unique charm. Ever heard of a place where it's considered odd to order a cappuccino after 11 in the morning? Welcome to Italy, where coffee is more than just a caffeinated beverage, it's a way of life steeped in tradition and customs. In Italy, the day starts with a quick shot of espresso, often consumed standing at the bar counter, a tradition dating back centuries. This is not just about getting a caffeine fix, it's a moment to catch up on the latest news, share a joke with the barista, or simply enjoy a moment of solitude before the day's hustle and bustle. As the clock strikes 11, the cappuccinos and lattes make way for the macchiatos and espressos. To an Italian, ordering a cappuccino after this time is akin to wearing white after Labor Day, a faux pas that instantly reveals you as a tourist. It's believed that the milk in cappuccino interferes with digestion, hence the switch to lighter options. Lunchtime is often punctuated by another quick espresso, consumed as a digestive. The day then winds down with a leisurely late afternoon coffee, often accompanied by a sweet treat. Italians believe that each type of coffee has its own perfect time and manner of consumption. Interestingly, it took until 2018 for the global coffee giant, Starbucks, to open its first store in Italy. A testament to the country's unique coffee traditions, and the Italians' love for their native brew. The opening was met with mixed reactions, with many Italians curious about the American coffee experience, while others remained staunchly loyal to their local coffee shops. In Italy, coffee is not just about the beans or the brew, it's about the ritual, the community, the moment of pause in a busy day. It's about savoring each sip, each conversation, each moment. It's about taking the time to truly live, one coffee at a time. Indeed, coffee in Italy is not just a drink, it's a way of life. Did you know that the Italian language has a sweet secret? It's a language that has always been associated with romance and passion, but it also holds a special place in the world of music. Consider this, Italian is the official language of music, that's right. When you're tapping your foot to the rhythm of a song or swaying to the melody, you're engaging with Italian, from the rhythmic tempo to the soaring soprano and the powerful crescendo, these universally used terms are all rooted in Italian. Music scholars and enthusiasts around the world, regardless of their native tongue, rely heavily on Italian terminology to describe musical elements. It's fascinating, isn't it? To think that an entire global community communicates through the lexicon of a single language, a testament to the universal influence of Italian culture on music. The Italian language, with its fluidity and expressiveness, seems to naturally lend itself to the musical realm. The words roll off the tongue with a melody of their own. It's as if each term is a note, contributing to the symphony that is music. And it's not just in classical music where we see Italians' influence. Contemporary music genres like pop, rock and jazz also use Italian terms. Allegro, meaning cheerful or brisk, is used to denote a fast, upbeat tempo. Staccato, meaning detached or disconnected, refers to notes that are played in a crisp, sharp manner. This linguistic legacy is not merely a historical artifact. It continues to shape the way we talk about music today. It's a living, breathing testament to the enduring influence of Italian culture on the global stage. So the next time you find yourself humming to your favorite tune, keep in mind that you're speaking a bit of Italian. You're part of a global conversation, a shared language that transcends borders and connects us through the universal language of music. It's a sweet secret indeed, the language of love that is Italian, serenading us in every note, every melody, and every song. So, the next time you hum your favorite song, remember you're speaking a bit of Italian. So, intrigued by these fascinating facts about Italy, our journey today has taken us from the enigmatic allure of its culture to the uncorked secrets of its history. 
We've tread upon the fiery soil of its volcanoes, and savoured the rich aroma of Italian coffee, and who could forget the melodic cadences of the language of love? From the ancient cobblestones of Rome, to the vibrant markets of Naples, Italy is a treasure trove of stories waiting to be discovered. Its traditions and customs, steeped in history, offer a unique blend of the familiar and the exotic. Each corner of this country holds a surprise, a new fact to learn, a new experience to cherish. Now, it's your turn to explore. Venture beyond the well-trodden tourist paths, delve into the heart of Italy and let its hidden gems dazzle you. If you enjoyed this journey through Italy's lesser-known facts, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more travel trivia. Arrivederci.